Hi Libras, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. Let's do your 7 to 14 read for the month of July. What's going to happen with you? This is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave what does not resonate for more personals. Reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. Also do I pray based spells for our highest schedule? We have intention charge crystals. Currently we are having uh, advanced crystals present with us. Totally pure. If you want to grab your hands on it before it gets out of stock, you can reach out to me on WhatsApp or Instagram. I'll provide you the details below. And yeah, check out free predictions on Instagram. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment to this channel in the end. This is for all Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in Libra or Cross Watchers. Let's see the messages for you, Libra. What's, what's happening with you? Libra, what's happening with you? 7 to 14. <clears throat> Someone is very jealous of you, Libra. I'm getting this because you're doing well in your life, in your career, especially in your money matters. I'm doing you pretty well. I'm seeing you're doing pretty well. There's a lot of self-confidence in you, Libra. That makes you stand out in the crowd. A lot of people are talking behind your back and you know who they are. So you're keeping your distance, safe distance from such negative people and toxic entities around you. And you're focusing on your goals and your work. And you're spending more and more and more and more time within yourself working on your spiritual awakening. That has brought you closer to your life purpose and you're very happy wherever you are these days. You're not worried like you used to be at one point of time. Okay, so I'm seeing this hermit energy. You're going to do really well the more you focus on your work. So you're working on improvisation of your skills. Okay, and you're becoming more and more focused in your career. There's a lot of growth in the coming future I'm seeing, a lot of growth. Some of you dealing with a Leo person, there's someone that is obsessing over you, I feel. Aries energy. Yeah. There's someone that is around you and obsessing over you. Uh, Page of Wands. I feel this person wants to take slow steps towards you. Okay. Uh, I'm sensing this could be someone older and they're like trying to manifest you. They're very attracted towards you. There's like a lot of attraction they have. This could be a Capricorn or an Aries. Virgo. Leo. King of Swords. Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. Mm -hmm. You're doing... I feel like you're interested in some person with whom there's a power struggle, there's a ego battle going on. No, you do first. No, you do first. You know, there's ego thing going on. This person is not able to accept the fact that you, instead of focusing on them, are focusing on your own life. So they're competing with you, I feel. There's someone that is competing with you. I feel like all of these options are just wasting your time right now. To be honest, I'm not going to put you in delusion. In this read, it's very clear that both of these options are having hidden agendas. None of these good. Okay, but let's see what's good coming into your life in the near future. Yeah, you, I feel like they, these people are already either married or are having someone else in their life. So you can't trust them. But definitely there is a solid foundation coming in the near future. Okay, with the cancer probably, this person is going to be very emotional, wants to invest in you. I feel it's going to be like slow and steady. There's someone that is coming towards you slowly but steadily and wanting to, you know, uh, grab your hand and take you away. Yes, this is a completely new person. I feel someone very, very hot and attractive coming towards you. But their approach is quite mature, wise. I feel they are wise from inside but from outside they look extremely youthful and attractive, hot. This person is looking for loyalty, stable foundation, getting married and stuff like that. So they're coming towards you. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Okay. Slowly. The tower. Someone is stopping your growth. 
someone if you're paying attention to this one that is like um uh, creating com competition with you like creating a sense of you know a uh, fight or conflict with you i feel that's the person that you have to immediately cut off ties with because in the end of the day when this person comes in you'll be uh you'll be making like you'll be confused between three people you'll be strung uh between three people stuck between three people so you don't want that because th those two people that you're currently dealing with is just waste of your time so they can cause that blockage in your life when this new person comes in i feel like it's very very soon that this new person is coming i'm hearing something to do with 13 july 13 july you have someone new coming in damn oh my gosh i feel like after a lot of hidden trials you're going to end up with one person so in the end of the day there are two other options that are coming in between whom you're going to decide i feel you're going to be ending up with someone very very rich and wealthy so there will be a sense of confusion because you don't have one option or two option coming in you have one two three four so you may get very confused here but i feel the one that takes you away is the one that's pretty rich okay and the rich i mean they're prosperous there's someone that has everything sorted and they are ready to offer you something solid here okay libra you're walking away you're tired you're disappointed you're focusing on self love so you're focusing all the energy to yourself because you think that is all of these options are just wasting my time so i better focus on myself then that's what you think because you're in love with yourself obviously you're attracting options so i feel like you're in you have patience right now you're in no rush to like end up with anyone that comes into your life you just want to give it one time like you want to wait you want to give time you want to sense you want to think and then decide you're no in you're not in rush any kind of rush here so you might be dealing with a cancer but i'm definitely sensing that you are I feel like it's more like you want to focus on your work but you're getting constantly approached by someone or the other and it con continuously distracts you. So you want someone that comes in with a true loyal offer, not just some fun or casual stuff. You're tired of this. But what you like doing is spending time alone and working on your goals and dreams. That makes you super happy and patient. Okay? And relaxed. Yeah. someone's missing their parents like mom or dad you guys may meet them okay i feel like your soulmate is somewhere that either you're going to meet them while traveling if you're planning for traveling but if you're not planning to travel then this is someone at a long distance that you will be meeting through online possible okay this could be through online they could be a gemini sagittarius i'm definitely seeing your soulmate is really really close to you and is looking for you looking for an, a positive person like someone with a positive outlook and a uh, far sighted outlook and very very like high value person so they see that in you i was telling you that you're going to finally say yes to your soulmate this is a key, uh, king of pentacles queen of pentacles and then this is 10 of pentacles which is like this is true 100 on 100 thing 10 on 10 thing real thing okay you guys will get married build a big home together having kids and living a luxury life that's what i'm sensing here you're lucky libra so your person and you are going to meet on the same page there will be a lot of uh intimacy between you guys okay you guys um it's like you both are very attractive yet both are very down to earth there's a lot of comfort with this person they provide you with a lot of comfort and so you are also adjusting with them you're also respectful of them you also provide them comfort So you guys I feel like this is your time you're going to meet this person. And that's the confirmation this is a past life connection with the 6 of cups. This is a past life connection, a higher level connection. You guys I feel this is going to turn into marriage. A lot of people are going to going to get their heart broken because you are attractive and a lot of people have their eye on you. And because you are getting married to your soulmate in the end of the day you have to reject certain other options. They are feeling heart broken. Okay, so within four months, I'm seeing you getting married, and this proposal is coming online. I'm sensing, or um, there will be like a uh, meeting, online meeting, work-related meeting online, and then falling in love is possible. 
some sort of an online connection is possible here okay or this person is in social media working for social media someone is into marketing that's also what i'm seeing here or some sort of an online trading business or an entrepreneur full-fledged that's also what i'm sensing this could be a leo yeah you guys will date i feel it's time for you to let go of these options breadcrumbing you if you feel like you're not getting enough it's time for you to stop like sitting and uh you know being in uh, you know dissatisfaction feeling confused because you already have your life sorted you're already moving towards solid foundation everything is going fine okay but these are certain distractions that are you know pulling you back and forth playing games with you so that is what you have to be careful about concern someone is 33 here or older 66 is also what i'm seeing here i feel you're very concerned about your future goals your ambition and the more focus you are in your goals the more money you will be making You will have a lot of people coming back and apologizing to you for what they did, but it's over. Once it's done for you, Libras, it's done. You don't want to entertain these people back again in your life. That's what you're very clear about. What else? Keep an open mind. Yeah, your person is coming out of the blue when you're like kind of uh, disappointed, dissatisfied with these options. Don't don't want to focus on these options. That's when this, these options, uh, this person is coming into your life and going to sweep you off and get you married with them. So they will be making efforts towards you after a series of disappointments. Okay, you've been giving chances and you're tired. Libra, please. Playfulness. Your person is very funny. Like they like to crack jokes and they're like lighthearted. And I feel you guys will always be uh, excited with them. You'll always be laughing with them. You guys are going to have a lot of fun together. Act like teenagers when you guys are together. This person has a healing tendency as well. This is someone from your own tradition, from your own background. Okay. And your family, their family completely approves of it. Could be a traditional form of marriage as well. But I'm seeing whatever you're seeking you're going to get it okay the world is at your feet for sure libra it's time for you to just enjoy okay because whatever you want is coming for you okay what else libra you're good enough i feel libra there's something about your communication skills and your appearance that that speaks that screams confidence and self-love that is what attracts the other opposite sex towards you so i'm seeing in the new moon there will be communication and uh, you can see in the coming full moon uh new moon is in 17th of july i feel yeah i feel in the full moon in the coming full moon which could be um in the next month around 3 or 4th July, okay? In the new moon, the communication will happen. In the next full moon, you guys will start dating. So it's time for you to groom yourself. You might meet this person at a grooming place, any kind of grooming place. You're on the right path. So you'll meet this person no matter what. What else? There you go. Sometimes the good is hidden. This person is really good for you. I feel like the universe is hiding them from you so that you can have your own experience and learn about the good and bad about people so that you know how to make the right kind of judgment in life. That's why. And then we have self-esteem. Yes, your self-confidence is the key here. Playing a major role in helping you manifest your dream person. Your soulmate is really rich. Very, very rich. Let's seek an advice here. Yeah, if you're worrying about your future, your money, then Citrine will really help. You can get a Citrine from me. Oh, yes, I had limited edition, pure, 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 101% pure Citrine chunk. If you're interested, I only have very, very few of them. So if you want to be that lucky person, you can come on WhatsApp and message me. 
because I'm uh, wanting to give it to the people that are lucky enough to want to change your money um, game. And I'm also saying, uh, and I'm also telling you that it will be energized with intentions before I send it to you, personalized for you, okay? Other than that, you can get an opal, but opal is something that you must first consult an astrologer, okay? But I'm also seeing that even if you don't get it, you will definitely sparkle and shine. Whatever unnecessary worries you're having, it needs to be out, okay? If you're worrying about the money especially, citrine is good for you, or else also you can just simply pray or meditate and help. Amethyst is also very, very good for you to be able to let yourself, your true self out and luck in your, uh, and help luck work in your favor and your intuition should help you with whatever you would like to manifest. So I would suggest you get Amethyst and Citrine, okay, Amethyst bracelet and Citrine chunk if you can. So now let's see the signs coming towards you. So we have Capricorn, we have Aquarius, we have Libra, we have Sagittarius. These are the signs that are coming in, okay? Now I'll be checking from Aries to Pisces, Libra, what are feelings of your person towards you, whoever is on your mind right now, okay? Let's start the part two of the three. All right, so Aries is like wanting to go with the flow. They know that they're very, very interested. Taurus is feeling strong pull towards you, especially your confidence is killing them. Gemini wants to manifest you by hook or by crook. Cancer is, I feel the Cancer feels kind of like you're shielding yourself from them and they want to come towards you. So they're trying to build confidence so that they can come towards you. No confidence. Leo is wanting to work things out with you. Virgo is coming towards you with all the positivity and joy in their mind. They know that this will work out. Libra is feeling stressed out. I feel there's something that's affecting them. Uh, Scorpio is feeling hurt. Okay. Maybe they feel like they've lost you and now they want you back and now you're not ready. Sagittarius is right now focusing on their own money, well-being. Capricorn is uh, seeing you as someone that's very, very ambitious and they don't see themselves fit for you. Um, Aquarius sees you as their soulmate. Aquarius thinks that you are very successful and a uh, lucky person and they want to have you. Pisces is stalking you. Yeah, they're watching you for sure. 24 7. They're very, very interested. Let's do the charms here. See? So you're going to celebrate life. I feel a lot of events and celebrations coming your way. You have a lot of opportunities to meet new people and open up vacation time. It's time for vacation. Okay. Yeah. You will spend time with children. You could be a teacher or your person is someone with whom you guys are planning on children with. Okay. Or they will be talking about children. Or you might be this person in a place where there are a lot of children playing. Someone's name is Ruksar. Someone's name is Ruksana. Someone's from Islam, religion, Vietnam, Vienna, ice cream. So I'm definitely seeing that you're going to get something really, really uh, major to enjoy in life. Your life is going to change 180 and it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of celebrations and enjoyment. I'm also seeing ice cream is very much related to children. So yes, maybe you guys will meet at an event where children or pets are involved. Someone's from Hungary. Russia, Europe, Australia, Finland, Venice, uh, Greece, Ukraine, Uganda, Quebec, Holland, India. American countries, Curatia, Islamabad, 
स्पेन उरुग्वे इस्तानबुल रोमेनिया इज ऑल्सो आर एम गेटिंग समथिंग लाइक गल्फ ऑफ समन्स नेम हैज हडसन इन इट ह्यूग वॉन वॉन हेली स्टेला Ruhi is also what I'm seeing. Gohar, Gauri. Vibhuti is also there. Indian name. Someone from Ghana, Paraguay, Pennsylvania. Sydney, yeah, it's pretty much it. Indonesia, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this read and some names. Um, I hope I can make up more names. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you've enjoyed this read. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Claim this reading. I'll be back. So stick around for more. I'll see you again. Bye.